Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today I'm going to cook fried sardine. I have sardine, oil, flour, lemon, cumin, salt and garlic. First I clean the sardine. It's a very nice recipe. I hope you try doing it. You can find a lot of uh, different kinds of, of fish in the channel. This way you can clean it. After I finish them, I take them and wash them with fresh water, then I come. After I wash them with fresh water, I put some salt. I squeeze half of lemon and let them in this mixture for 30 minutes. Then I wash them a little with a little wood. Spices that I have: salt, cumin, uh, uh, and uh, garlic. I mix them together and I put a little of uh, red chili pepper. This is the third. I will uh, wash it now with water. Then I come again. I put them in another plate. I spread some spices, which I mix them together. I let them together in the spices for 10 minutes, then I start to fry them. After 10 minutes, I have a flour. I put the sardine on the flour. When the oil becomes hot, I fry them. It's hot now. I can put the sardine.
I tried just for five minutes, but then I'll show you at the end. This is the fried sorghum at the end. It's very nice and delicious. I hope you try doing it. I hope you enjoy watching this video and write your comments in, uh, in the video. Thank you. Welcome our audience in the channel Learn Cooking. Today we'll do gentle fly. How to prepare gentle fly. The ingredients I have gentle fly, fresh, green pepper, onions, I cut onions and slices, uh, garlic, salt, black pepper, cumin, and hot chili. On a low heat, I put gentle fly. Then I add the onions. And the green pepper, I cut it in slices. Then I add, I cut the garlic on a low heat. All of these ingredients on a low heat. Then I add the spices, leave them for 10 minutes on the low heat, I cover the pan. Then I After 10 minutes, I put a cup of water to have a soup. Then I cover it again and leave them for another 10 minutes. Now the supply dish is ready, I have finished it. You can see it all it's opened. All gin the floor are opened. So it's ready and it's well done. If you like the video please subscribe the channel if you have any comments write it. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today I'm going to cook a green beans uh, or string beans. I have string beans like this. I cut it from two sides from here and from the other side from two sides I cut them from two sides then from the other side like this then I cut them into pieces I cut them into small pieces like as you can follow me Then I wash them in the water. I wash them in the water. I cut them. Yes, like this. Then I have chopped onion, uh, a bowl of soup, salt, black pepper, tomato sauce. I bought a spoon cutter. In the pan to fry the onion. Make a side for the onion. Next, I put tomato sauce.
Then I bought the string pins. Finally, I add the soup. I cover the string beans with the uh, soup. If you want to add uh, a lot of uh, uh, tomato sauce, you can add it. I leave it for about 30 minutes, then I show you a pin at the end with tomato sauce. It's very delicious and very useful for our health. I hope you try doing this recipe and tell me your opinion uh, in a comment. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and please activate the bell icon and I hope you uh, tell me your opinions about the other videos in the channel. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn the Cooking. Today I'm going to do a healthy food. It's green salad. I have tomato, cucumber, green pepper, onion, cabochi, uh, this green, uh, they are broca and celery and parsley. I have olive uh, uh, oil, olive oil. The spices I have salt, black pepper, cumin and red chili pepper. In a dish, I cut all these ingredients together. I cut them into small pieces like this. These green vegetables are very healthy. I hope you enjoy watching the video. And if you like the video, please subscribe the channel. You will find a lot of videos in the channel. Because uh, sweets, a lot of different kinds of food. I cut the tomato into slices, chop that. Then I cut the cucumber. Then the onions, I chop that. You can find a lot of sweets, a lot of juice in the channel. Any pickers you want, you can find in the channel. And finally, I cut kabuchi.
Then I bought the spices and the green oil, the olive oil. I mix them together with a spoon. You can see the color is so beautiful. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and tell me your opinion about it. I hope you enjoy watching the video and subscribe in the channel. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn the Cooking. Today I'm going to make grilled fish in the oven. I have a fish. I clean it well. If you, uh, if you like to know how to clean the fish, you will go to the Learn the Cooking channel and you will find how, how to make to clean it. I have one tomato, one green pepper, lemon, cumin, uh, chili red pepper, uh, salt, and garlic. First, I bought them to mix the spices together. And mix them together, then I come again. After I mix them, Now I get the fish. Open it with a knife. I get a tray. I put them here. Then I spread the spices on it with lemon. and garlic, uh, tomato and green pepper I bought a little of oil then I bought them in the oven uh, on 280 degrees welcome our audience in the channel learn the cooking today we'll do a new recipe how to make grilled uh, meat in the oven I have a pieces of meat which is cutting into thin slices uh, we have tomato onion a green pepper and I have salt, black pepper, seam, and the nutmeg. I put the, the meat in the tray like this. I put it in the gray, in the tray. I cut the tomato and the onions on it. I 
I cut the onions into thin slices. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. If you have any comments, write it to me. In the uh, in the channel, I have a lot of videos like juice, sweets, uh, ki a lot of kinds of food. I hope you enjoy watching the video and tell me uh, your opinion. You can follow me. I cut the, tom the onions. Then I cut the tomato. I put the green pepper. I cut it into pieces. Then I will put the spices, the salt, the black pepper, and the seam. And I, I bought a little of nutmeg. And I bought a little of water. I turn on the fire, on the cooker low fire and I put the tray on the low fire for t for uh, half an hour then I put it in the oven after it well done I will show the tray at the end after after half an hour I'll take the tray the grilled uh, meat and I put it in the oven for another quarter of an hour to complete their uh, to be well done after another half an hour on the in the oven uh, you can see it's well done and have a nice color this is the grilled meat at the end you can see it's very nice and delicious and the meat is well done it's well done if you like the video please subscribe the channel you will find a lot of and different kinds of food, juice, and sweets. You will enjoy when you subscribe to the channel, and you will find a lot of uh, videos. You will you will like it. Thank you. Hello, everybody in our channel, Learn Cooking. Today, we'll learn how to make side of chicken grilled grilled side of chicken. I have one side of chicken, and I separate the skin from the meat I have one spoon of yogurt one spoon of tomato puree this tomato puree I do at home you can find the video how to make tomato puree in the channel uh, one uh, onion chopped onion and uh, one half of lemon the herbs I have salt black pepper steam coriander not make any herbs any uh, spices you can put it I mix all I put the yogurt, tomato sauce, and the onion. Put the herbs. Then I mix them. I put them under the skin, like this. Then I uh, put them in the grill, under the grill, in the oven for about one hour. I leave it uh, in the fridge for two hours. Then I put them in the fridge in uh, the oven. I finished. Now I put it in the fridge for two hours after two hours I get a tray I bought the side of a chicken I bought a little of water then I bought it in the oven 
to be ground. I hope you try doing this uh, grilled soy of a chicken. It's very nice and delicious, you can see. I hope you try doing this and tell me your opinion. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Welcome everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today I'm going to do grilled chicken. I have one chicken. I wash it well with lemon salt and the flour and wash it with water one tomato one onion I have lemon uh, I have uh, the spices salt black pepper coriander uh, I have same nutmeg and the uh, garlic powder and cardamom I mix all the ingredients together first I grate the tomato I don't use the peel, I throw it. Then I break the onion. Then I put the spices, all the spices, I squeeze the lemon, I mix them together. I bought them on the chicken from all sides. As you can follow me. It has a nice and a sweetie, delicious taste. I bought them between the skin and the meat.
I leave them in, uh, I leave the chicken in this mixture for three hours in the fridge then I put it in the oven after three hours I complete it after three hours I get out the chicken from the fridge and then I put it in the oven on a medium heat I put this in the tray this tray is used to grill uh, the chicken I hang it in this. I bought a cup of water. When the water dry, uh, I put another cup of water. I put it in the oven now over 180 degrees for about two hours. This is the grilled chicken at the end. I hope you enjoy watching the video and try doing it. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and tell me your opinion about it. In the channel, you will find a lot of kinds of food, bakeries, juice, desserts. I hope you tell me watching them and telling me your opinion. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to do in doubly Boil in candoli. I have candoli, one onion, one tomato, one clove of garlic, salt, cumin, and red chili pepper. On a low flame, I put candoli on the fire, and I cut the onion, and I cut the tomato into slices. Cut the tomato I put the garlic I add a little of salt Red chili pepper Cumin I cover the suspend uh, for about uh, 10 minutes and I leave it for 10 minutes on a low flip. You can see the gondoli after 5 minutes. It's all gondoli in oven, so it's a very good uh, gondoli. Now I add a cup of water and I cover the man again and let them to boil for about 10 minutes until it has a soup and the gondoli becomes well done. This is a gondoli with uh, the soup at the end. It's a very nice, delicious receipt and a very healthy. It has a lot of uh, useful uh, elements. I hope you try doing this. I hope you enjoy watching this video. You can find a lot of kinds of uh, seafood and fish in the channel. You can do it and tell me your opinion. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and activate the bell icon. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we'll How do a neat ketchup at home. The ingredients I have tomato cutting into slices, a tomato sauce, a onion which cutting into a big pieces, a cinnamon and the cloves ground, salt and sugar and finger. We put all the ingredients in a big pan on the fire for one hour. Tomato with tomato sauce, vinegar, all the ingredients, 
I put it on the fire for one hour and I'll come again. On, I put it on a low fire, a low heat. After one oh, hour on the fire, I turn off the fire and let it to be cold. Now I put it in the mixer to be like juice, but I first get out the the cinnamon and club the ground. I now put it in the mixer and I come again. After I hit it in the electric mixer, now I use the strainer to pure the ketchup. After I pure the ketchup, I put again on the fire for another 10 minutes to be thick and heavy. After 10 minutes you will uh, see the ketchup ready now the ketchup uh, becomes very thick you can see very thick and heavy uh, it becomes cold I bought it in a jar to put in the fridge You can use the ketchup uh, as any kind of food. The children will like it. If you like the video, subscribe the channel. If you have any comments, write it to me. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today I'm going to cook kebab. I have 500 grams of beef. I have black pepper, salt, uh, chopped onions and black, chopped black, uh, green pepper. I put a medium uh, put on the fire on a medium uh, heat. I boil the meat for three minutes. I boil the meat on a medium heat for three minutes until it brown. Now it's brown. I add chopped onion. I put a lid and let them for another uh, for ten minutes on a low heat. I put the green pepper, salt and black pepper and let them boil for another 30 minutes and I add a cup of water to boil to better. I add a cup of water to boil together and let them for another 30 minutes. This is kebab dash at the end. It's very delicious. I hope you try doing it. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and tell me your opinion about it. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today I'm going to make kebab. I have 250 grams of uh, minced meat. I have potato I cut in slices. I have an onion, I make it soft, soft onions, like this. I have one tablespoon of salt, black pepper. You have add uh, any spices you have. In a tray, I put potato, like this. I spread the slices of potato. As you follow on me, then I get the beef. I put the onion. 
and spices. Next is I'm to be there. Kebebe is very delicious and very nice. I have a lot of videos in the channel. I hope you try doing them. After I mix the ingredients together, I'll leave it in the fridge for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I make it at the bowl like this and put it on the potato I make a small holes After I finished, I put a cup of water. Then I put them in the oven in a medium heat for about 30 minutes. Then I show them at the end. This is the kubiba at the end. It's very nice and very delicious. I hope you try doing it. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and tell me your opinion about it. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today I am going to do kafta. Kafta with bread crumbs. I have 2 tablespoons of bread crumbs, uh, 250 grams of uh, ground meat. I have 1 tablespoon of salt, a little of black pepper, a little of coriander and the big onions. I have 1 big onion. I chop it. After I finish the onions, I put them on the meat. With the breadcrumbs. And the spicy salt. Black pepper. Coriander. And mix them well. I leave them in this mixture for uh, 30 minutes, then I complete it. After 30 minutes, I form it. I have a stick. I put it in the stick.
both in, in a tray. I complete all the ground meat. Now I put them in the oven for 30 minutes over 200 degrees. I put a little of water, a cup of water until uh, under the kafta. I put them in the oven over uh, 200 degree for 30 minutes. If the water dried, I can put another cup of water to uh, to complete uh, to be well done. This are the kofta with bread crumbs. And yeah, I hope you try doing it. They are very delicious. I hope you enjoy watching the video and tell me your opinion. Thank you. Hello everybody. Now our channel learn cooking. Today I'm going to do kafta. Kafta today is continue, uh, consists of one onion, uh, salt, black pepper, nutmeg, and um, ground meat. I get the, the onion. I chop them. Next, I put the salt and black pepper, little of nutmeg, and mix them.
Leaves them. I leave them for t uh, 30 minutes in this mixture in the fridge. Then I complete it. After 30 minutes, I get the tray and brush it with oil. I get a stick. I make the kafta in the st on the stick. I put them in the tray. Them, I put them in the oven for 200 degrees. I put a cup of water. If the water dried, you can put another cup of water. As you can see, this is the kafta at the end. I hope you enjoy watching the video and try doing it. They are very, very delicious, so delicious. I hope you try doing it. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. Thank you. Welcome everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we'll do a new recipe. We'll learn how to make kushari with yellow lentils. The ingredients I have 2 cups of rice, 1 cup of yellow lentils, 2 big spoons of oil, 1 cup of water, and 1 small little spoon of salt. I, I take the rice and the lentils, I soak the rice and lentils together in water for 30 minutes, then I come again. Now, in a medium boot, I heat the oil over medium heat. Then add the cup of water with salt and let them uh, to pile. Now the water is boiling, I will add the rice, I wash the, the rice for 3 times as you can see, until the starch uh, is disappeared and the color is clear. I put the rice with lentil into water then I stir them together I 
I covered the burn for five minutes. Once all the ingredients have come up to the boiling, reduce to a similar, a similar cup. Discover and cook for uh, 20 minutes. Now I cover the pan for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, you can see the water disappear. I lose the heat and leave the rice with lentils for uh, about 20 minutes, another 20 minutes. I cover again and leave them for another 20 minutes. The kushiri with yellow lentils is ready. It's well done. I can prepare a dish. Uh, we can eat with eggs, with uh, potato, fried potato, with salad, as you like. You can eat it as you like. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. If you have any comments, write it. I hope you try doing this kashari with yellow lentils. I hope you doing it. You will find it very nice. Thank you. Welcome our audience in the channel Learn Cooking. So they would do lentil soup. The ingredients I have one piece of potato, carrots, two, two pieces of tomatoes, onions, lentils, 25, uh, 250 grams of lentils, and the spices I have salt, curry, and black pepper, and I have a butter. I have a boiling water. I put all the ingredients. I put the tomato. I put the, uh, the potato. And the carrots. Then I put the lentils. I leave uh, these ingredients on the fire for 30 minutes. After, that, After 30 done. minutes, the lentil soup is ready. Now I mix it in the electric mixer and hit it to be a juice. And I now will I use a piece of butter to fry the, the onion. Then I use a strainer to pure the lentil soup. I turn on the flame, high flame. After it fried, the color of the onion changes into brown. I take some of lentils to put on it. Then take, I turn off the flame, I keep this to put on the lentils. Then I put the spices, salt, black pepper, coriander. Now, it's ready. I finish the lentil soup. has a lot of uh, vitamins, carbohydrates, so healthy. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. If you have any comments, please write it. I hope you enjoy watching the video and try doing it. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we'll do we'll learn how to make liver and gizzard of the chicken. 
uh, the ingredients I have liver this is three pieces of lizard I cut it into pieces like this this is a gathered of chicken I cut also into pieces as you can see uh, I have two onions and one black of pe uh, green of pepper I have salt, black pepper and sea on a medium heat, I will the dessert and I chop the onion without any fat, no fat, no oil, no butter. I chop the onion, I put them, I cover the saucepan and leave them on a low medium, a low heat. Leave them for 10 minutes. Now the dessert is okay. I put the lid now. I put lever now and green pepper on a high heat. I put the spices, salt, black pepper and thyme. I can squeeze lemon, half of lemon, cover them for five minutes, just five minutes. On a low heat. I cover them for five minutes on a low heat. So well done. I turn off the heat. I put in another plate. I hope you try doing this recipe, it's very nice and delicious. If you like the video please subscribe the channel and activate the bell icon. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn the Cooking. Today I'm going to do liver. I have liver slices. I have half kilo, 50 gra uh, 500 gram of liver. Uh, I have green pepper, I cut into small pieces. I have 2 tablespoons of oil, salt, black pepper, cumin. I have garlic, uh, about 10 cloves of garlic. Uh, I have 1 onion cut into small or thin slices. First, I put the oil in the saucepan. Then, I put the, uh, the liver. I put the liver after I put the liver in a low heat I squeeze the lemon I cover the saucepan for about 10 minutes then I complete it next after 10 minutes I put the onion and the garlic then I cover the banana again next 
I want the green pepper. And all the spices, salt, black pepper, turmeric. And I covered the saucepan again for another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you can see it's well done. I turn off the fire. Now it's ready to eat. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and tell me your opinion about it. I hope you enjoy watching the video. Thank you. Welcome our friends in the channel Learn Cooking. Today I'll get you on your receipt how to make meat with vegetables. Uh, we have meat, potatoes, peas, onions, tomato sauce, salt, black pepper, same, we can add green pepper. First I put the meat in the saucepan, then add the spices for it, salt, some salt, and some black pepper, some same. You can add any spices you like. Then add then add the vegetables you have, potatoes, peas, uh, cut the black pepper, the green pepper and the onions. I cut the onions into spice slices and the green pepper. Then add the tomato sauce. And the other spices. Then put on the fire for half an hour. I add some water. Then put it on fire for half an hour. After half an hour, I come back again. Finally, after half an hour, the sweet uh, meat with vegetables well done. You can see meat, it's well done. Now it's ready to eat. If you like the video, subscribe the channel. Uh, if you have any comments, write it. If you like the video, press like and activate the bell icon. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel, Learn Cooking. Today we'll learn how to make a potato with minced meat. Ingredients I have minced meat, potato, onions, and green pepper. The spices I have, I have black pepper, salt, and seam, and nutmeg. Now I put the onions on the low fire with the meat. I cut the green pepper with it on a low heat and I cover the pan. I cover the wood and leave them for about 10 minutes. You can see the meat and the onion has changed the color, become brown. And nearly well done. Now I cut the potato into cubes. And I will add the spices, salt, black pepper and seam and not a little nutmeg. Salt, steam, black pepper, little of nutmeg, then I add a little of water and cover it up. 
I add a cup of water and warm with a medium heat and I cover the after. Now the minced meat with potato is finished. It's well done. I hope you try doing this receipt. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. Your children will like this receipt. They like the potato. I hope you enjoy watching the video and tell me your opinion. I hope you enjoy watching all the videos in now the channel. Now the meat with potato is finished. It's well done. I hope you try doing this receipt. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. Your children will like this receipt. They like the potato. I hope you enjoy watching the video and tell me your opinion. I hope you enjoy watching all the videos in the channel. Uh, if you subscribe to the channel, sub activate the guys. Everybody in our channel learn cooking. Today we'll learn how to make minced meat with tomato sauce and some vegetables. I have onions, green pepper, potato, tomato sauce, minced meat, spices I have black pepper, same salt and nutmeg. I bought the meat, I cut the onions, I chopped it small pieces. I hope you try doing this receipt. You will find very smile and very nice. I hope you try doing this receipt. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. In the channel, you will find a lot of food, delicious food, a lot of pickers, uh, a lot of uh, juice, drinks. Then I bought the meat. I covered the pan, I covered the pan for 5 minutes, then I come again. Now the meat and the onions become all done. I add the black pepper and tomato sauce with a cup of water. Well, it's very nice. I can smell. It's very, very nice. I add the black pepper. And the potato. I add the potato. I made the heat medium. I will cover the pan and leave the 
for about 15 minutes. After I put the spices, I stir the ingredients together and cover them for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, the meat is well done. I bought them in another plate. They have a very nice and delicious smell. I hope you try doing this receive. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. It's very easy, the ingredients would potato, onion, the minced meat, and uh, tomato, and green pepper, and some spices. Tell me your opinions about the recipe. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we'll learn how to make minced meat with tomato and vegetables. The vegetables I have tomato, uh, onions, potato and black pepper, green pepper. The spices I have black pepper, nutmeg, salt and sea. In a pan, I put a pan on the fire. I put the onions and the meat together on a low heat. I put the, the meat on a low heat. I leave them on a low heat and cover the pan for about 5 minutes. And then After 5 I... minutes, you can see the meat and the onion is medium well done, is medium done. Now I put the spices, I put thyme, black pepper and salt and nutmeg. Then I add the potatoes with green pepper. I cut the green pepper. Potatoes. And slices of tomato. I cut the tomato into thin slices. It gives them a nice test. I add a cup of water to mix the ingredients together. I make the heat a high heat. I cover the meat with water. Now I cover the pan and leave now them the on meat high. with vegetables, tomato and potato and onions are ready. I hope you try doing this recipe. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. I got it in a plate to show you at the end. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. It's a very easy and simple receipt. And I have a very delicious smell and nice smell. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today I'm going to do Mouche. You know that the, this are the leaves of Mouchaya. I have a cup of soup, garlic, and one tablespoon of butter. I take this uh, Mouchaya and put them in the mixer or blender for seconds. For 30 seconds, just one 
uh, round to be little pieces to become little pieces I bought it in the in mixer then I complete now I put I put the, the soup on the fire to boil and I put a piece of butter in the fry pan I put the garlic Now the soup is boiling, I put the When the garlic br become brown, It's okay now, the garlic, I bought some potato soup. I turned out the fire, then I put them in the pot. Now it's ready to eat. This is a Molochea soup at the end. I hope you try doing it. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and tell me your opinion about it. Please activate the bell icon and tell me your opinions about the videos in the channel. There are a lot of videos, different kinds of food, breakfast, and juice. Thank you. Everybody in our channel learn cooking. Today we learn how to make mozzarella cheese at home it's very simple and easy I have one kilo of milk uh, it's a fresh milk I didn't uh, pile it one spoon of vinegar vinegar and half of phlegm when the uh, milk is cold I put the vinegar and I squeeze the lemon in a string this way gives you a very good uh, result using a wooden spoon I stir I stir for about five minutes. After five minutes, I turn on the heat. I still stir. I continue. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of uh, food in the channel, a lot of receipts, desserts, fruit, uh, juice, pickers. 
Please write me your comments about the videos. Tell me your opinion. You can notice that the cheese starts to con con uh, consist. As you can see. I collect it together. The medium should be uh, the the fire should be medium medium heat. You can follow me and do these steps. You will get a good result. I collect them in one side one kilo give you about uh, 250 degree uh, 50 kilogram 250 gram of mozzarella cheese I continue to stir until it becomes sticky. We can use this water or this milk, the rest of milk, to make pickers.
you should follow these steps. To get this nice, uh, this nice result, you should, the, should, uh, the milk should be buffalo milk, not cow milk. You can see I have a bowl of mozzarella cheese. When it's sticky like this, it's well done. I bought it in a cloth like this. To get out of any milk it has. It shouldn't have any milk. Now you can sticky I leave it cold and then uh, I will come again when the mozzarella cheese be cold I cut it in small pieces you can make mozzarella cheese at home give you a nice and and a very good result more better than you buy from the shops as you can see, it's wonderful, it has a fantastic. You can see the mozzarella cheese. You buy the mozzarella cheese from the shops like this. It... I hope you try dying this recipe at home. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. I want to tell me your opinion about the video. I hope you activate the bell icon to learn to know uh, that the video is ready. Hello, everybody in our channel, Learn a Cooking. Today I'm going to cook pasta with tomato sauce and uh, chopped on uh, chopped uh, sausage with. Uh, Pashamel. I have pasta, 4 tablespoons of flour, green pepper, sausage, chopped onion, 2 tablespoons of oil, salt, black pepper, 1 tablespoon of pan, half liter of milk on the fire. Now the water is boiling. I add the water. I add the pasta to the water. I let them for about 5 minutes. And uh, during this time, I stir the pasta. Here on then the I fire, I put a, a, a tablespoon of butter, a tablespoon of butter, another tablespoon here for sausage, and a tablespoon of butter on a low heat for both of them. I add the tablespoon of oil. Here I add the sausage. With the onion, chopped onion. And the green pepper.
I have like four tips on the floor. I fry them. Next I add salt, black pepper. I covered this. I stir the flour. Now the pasta is well done, I put it in a steamer and wash them with the cold water, then I come again. Next I add the milk. I add the milk little by little, I don't add all the amount together. I add salt and black pepper. I let them to buy it together. Now the bechamel or white sauce becomes well done. I turn off the fire now. And sausage uh, is now ready. Next I add tomato sauce.
did them together for five minutes on a medium flame. I press a little file. I add pasta. Next I add a layer of sausage Then I need just a layer of pasta. I heat, I preheat the oven over 180 degree or 200 degree. I put this tray in the oven now. the pasta at the end with the sausage i hope you try doing this recipe i hope you enjoy watching this video it's very nice and delicious you can find a lot of different kinds of pasta in the channel uh, you can find also a lot of different kinds of recipe with fruits uh, a, a lot of kinds of uh, sweets juice any kind if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell